Hi, welcome to Turtle Burger Girl Crochet and Knitting Podcast. My name is Brittany. Thank you so much for joining me if you are new or returning. Today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. It is Whip Wednesday. Before we get into the projects, if you are a Ravelry user, I do want to let you know that I currently have a make-along, a brioche make-along happening in our group thread. I will link that down below. It is going on until December 31st. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into finished objects. My first and only finished object is a Christmas bauble for our tree. This is part of a bauble along from the Knitting Tutor. This is her stockinette swatch cozy. The yarn I used is Yarnaceous Fibers in the Salta Fingering sock set. It is an unknown colorway. Um, for this one, I used a Chowgu US size 1 2.25 millimeter needle, but I do think on my next ones, I will go up to maybe a 2.5 um, millimeter. And I also am planning on making a DK weight and kind of playing around with the sizes of them. But I love this. This is so pretty. I cannot wait to decorate our tree. Okay, now into, um, I do have a half finished object, which will lead us into whips. So my half finished object is my sock test knit from Chit Chat Knit. This is the, I can't remember if it's bright, shiny, or shiny, bright sock. Other than this bare color in the background, I dyed all this yarn myself. It is Knit, Knit Picks Muse Fingering Weight Yarn, and it is a 75% Superwash Merino, 25 or 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon Blend. Um, let's see what else can I tell. It has a twisted uh rib or yeah twisted ribbing <laughs> and then you go into the color work this cute little stars has a slip stitch heel flap and really neat um toe it's just a basic toe but this one looks really good on and actually with this, I, um, per a recommendation, use the Finchley grafting instead of Kitchener for this. And I really liked that. Um, I will link the tutorial I used. I don't know if there's more, um, but I used Roxanne Richardson uh, video for this. Anyway, really like this one. Um... I used, here's where I am on the second sock. I'm thinking of ripping this out though because I forgot to do a German twisted cast on and I also forgot to do a twisted rib. <laughs> so I'll probably rip this out. But the needles I'm using, I prefer Magic Lube. So I am using US size 1 2.25 millimeter Chalgu 40 inch cable. But the color work section though I found it much easier for me to switch to a US size 2 2.75 millimeter needle on a 9 inch circular and then once I did that it went so much more smoothly here is all my yarn that I dyed for this well this one I dyed in the summer I was just waiting for a project to use it on and then this looks brown, but it's actually like a light purple mauve kind of color. So I think they look really good together. Um, I do have videos on how I dyed these. I will link in the description below as well. And those socks are currently 
Oops. I can't get my needles in the bag, but, um, okay, there we go. Put the sock on top of them, they'll lay down. Those socks are living in this bag. Okay, my next work in progress is my Spindrift Shawl by Helen Stewart. It doesn't look like I've gotten anywhere, but this is where I was last time and this is what I was able to do, which was four um, rows. And that puts me at officially 65% of the way butterfly. done. Butterfly. Yeah, butterfly. The yarn I'm using for this is Monarch yarn in the, um, she's on Etsy. And that is in the color Tropical Fade. My needles are a 40 inch Chowgu US size six, four millimeter. I can't wait to get this done. <laughs> it has been months in the making, way too long. Um, okay, my next project, actually my next two are dishcloths and there's not much there, but they're there. <laughs> so on this, this is the first dishcloth. These will be gifts. I plan on making three of these. Um, is, em oops, sorry, Emily's Garden Dishcloth. By the kitchen sink shop i believe this was march 2022 year of dishcloths um pattern it the year of dishcloths is a um free email pattern club on the first of the month the kitchen sink shop sends you a free dishcloth pattern so like i said this is emily's garden these will be gifts i plan on making three of these and then adding one or two um just traditional dishcloths with it and I may even what I may do is add one dishcloth and then or face I'm hoping that they're like face washcloths um and then add face crochet crochet some face scrubbies with it for kind of a mini spa set the yarn I'm using is peaches and cream in a cone in the color sea breeze I am not gonna worry about colors. Everything will be done in this color because this is like a never ending cone. A cone? A cone, that's right. And I would like to use this up. The needles I'm using are my Conant bamboo um, that I started out knitting with a couple of years ago. And this is a US size seven, four and a half millimeter needle. And those dishcloths will live in or washcloths, face cloths, whatever, <laughs> will live in this bag. It has a really beautiful, I like the little hearts on the inside. Okay, the next dishcloth is also from the kitchen sink shop. This is the November 2022 dishcloth of the month. It is currently living in this bag, which was also gifted to me from, um, it is by Daisy Girl and Company. This is really nice to walk around the house with, like this, and when you're working on something easy. Um, okay, so the November dishcloth of the month is called Darcy. And I've only gotten into That's like- not baby dad. No, Okay, step over there, please. Um, two, I've done two repeats on that. Back, a back. This is what it looks like in the ball. And the yarn I'm using is Peaches and Cream in the color Oasis. So I'm hoping to get that done. Okay, just two more works in progress. The next one is this hat for my husband. This is the World War II, uh, no, classic World War II Watchman's cap. I cannot remember the lady's name who 
put the pattern together. It is a free pattern on Ravelry, but if you um, Google it, she has it in different places as well, I found. Um, this is where I was last time. And so I was able to get all this done. This works up really, really quickly. Extremely stretchy. I am making the adult large. Um, that may be a mistake. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> and the needles I'm using are Clover Takumi Interchangeables US size 7, 4.5 millimeter needle. And the yarn I'm using is just Red Heart Super Saver in the color black. I am trying to get through some stash. Okay, my last work in progress, which is living in this beautiful Christmas bag, which was also gifted to me. It's a Molly Klein Designs bag, which is so exciting because I see her bags on many podcast um can't get it open okay uh let's see i got them it's a mess in here let's see <laughs> but i have to try to get it all out let's see god bless you god bless you that will be acquisitions okay let me get all my stuff together here okay so the last whip are my scrappy stripy socks for K from the crazy sock lady, crazy sock ladies recipe. She is hosting a knit along until November 30th. I am working them in tandem on Chowgu US size one, 2.25 millimeter needles or nine inch circulars. And I am so close to being done. I am... These are my, I'm well into the foot here. So let's go over the yarn. So my main color is this blue. No, please don't open that. This is a Cascade Heritage in the color denim. My first stripe is Southern Skeins in the color Holly Jolly. This color is um, Monarch Yarns on Etsy in the color Ocean Fade. This, this is, it looks brown, but it's not. It is Huntington Valley Yarns in the color Mauve. And then this last stripe is Yarnaceous Fibers. It is the Salt of Fingering sock set in an unknown colorway. This is where I was last time. This is a progress keeper from Mindful Makes. And like I said, I'm starting the um, foot repeats over. And or, I'm doing the stripes in the same sequence that I'm up here. And I'm just doing five rounds of each. And then I will go into the toe back to my main color. And that is actually all for works in progress. I have one small acquisition. Let me get it out here. Uh, so my one small acquisition is I got one pair or so, hey, please stop that. Is thank you, Chalgu. Um, set of DPNs, double pointed needles in a size US 1, 2.25 millimeter, and these are six inches in length. So I'm very excited to get those. Um, that is all for projects. I do not have any crochet going on at the moment. Technically, I have a crochet milestone blanket, but I haven't picked that up in probably over a year, maybe even a year and a half, a couple years. So I never bring it out or show it. Um, let's see. For life, um, we've had a lot going on. No sense in getting into all that. Um, it will all be okay. But part of that um, is I, I did find myself in the need to 
get healthier. So I have started an exercise and diet program. I have not fully started the diet program yet. I've only taken, you know, baby steps into it and making a few lifestyle changes because I don't just want like a fad diet. But the one that I am loosely following that has worked for me previously in the past is a portion control system called 21 Day Fix. Um, thankfully, I did that in 2015. Thankfully, I kept all of my um, like containers and stuff. Although now it's, it's all over Walmart and stuff. Back then, you could only get it from Beachbody. But um, anyway, so thankfully, I kept all that. Um, so I've been loosely doing that and I have been walking every day. I've been walking two miles every day and this has been for the past four weeks and I am four pounds down. So I'm very thankful for that. That's about a pound a week and to have not even really started the diet portion of it yet is um, fantastic. You okay? Yeah. Yep. I I'm trying to go in your house. You're trying to go in your house? Okay. Um, other than that, I did start a new audiobook this week, um, which I am really enjoying. It's a little slow. There's not like a whole big storyline, but it's just nice to listen to, you know, put in my, my pod thing while little lady's going to sleep and it doesn't disturb her. Um, but anyway, it is called Half Finished by Lorraine, L-A-U-R-A-I-N-E, I believe Snelling. I have read many of her books in the past. And this one was really neat because it is the story of kind of four friends um, who are all crafters of different things, mostly knitting, crochet, you know, cross stitch, the typical, you know, kind of fiber art type things. And um, they basically kind of get tired of having all their finished objects, their whips. <laughs> and so um, it's, it's really neat. They decide to form a club, not really a club, but um, they call it a service. And the whole town kind of gets involved. They're in a small town in Wisconsin. And everybody, you know, men, women, children, everybody who has anything that they have started and not finished, they keep each other accountable. They get together in their groups and work on it if someone needs help with something. So it's just really fun. So anyway, that is pretty much <laughs> it. I am enjoying that. I um, I listen to that on audiobook um, off the Hoopla, H-O-O-P-L-A app. I'm able to access my library, my, um, my community library, um, their digital library through Hoopla. So that is just a real blessing. I really, I use that a lot. So anyway, that is it for this week's episode 27. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving me a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. If there's anything that you happen to miss or have questions about, I will have links to everything below. And I would love if you left me a comment and let me know what you're working on. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.